Or does the president, who has access to the most sensitive intelligence to all of us, does he know about a, a legal wiretap during the campaign? When we do know the FBI is still looking into alleged contacts between some Trump associates and the Russians, and it is possible, these are not public documents, it is possible, there was an intelligence finding, and they went to the court and got it. Which is it? <laughs> That is a great question, and if someone from the White House could give us a call right now and answer that question, we would appreciate it. I mean, I'm not sure the president fully understood the door he was opening in doing this if he was just getting this information from Breitbart or other conservative media, because this has been one of the major questions surrounding this FBI investigation is, was the FBI, were, were intelligence agencies actually accessing communications that Trump's advisors had during the campaign with Russians? If the president is aware that that happened, whether it was ordered by Obama or happened during the Obama administration, he has now essentially given the Hill, uh, the investigative committees there, and the intelligence agencies, I think, an opening to share some of that information publicly, which they have been reluctant to do so far. They have been reluctant to do so far. So it's, I mean, it's one of two things. Either he has access to some information that there is such a wiretap. But again, a president cannot order that. A president cannot personally wake up in the morning and say, I'm mad at Jonathan, tap his phones. It doesn't work that way. Uh, that would be illegal. He would have to have the FBI director, the attorney general, and a whole lot of technical people involved in that who somehow decided not to share that information. Unlikely. Uh, but he could, there could be a legal one. But you ask the White House, and now they say, Sean Spicer says the White House counsel is reviewing what options are available to us. Is that just spin so that they don't say the president was just winging it? Uh, because they were all surprised by this. They say they found out about this from reading it on Twitter. There was, this was not part of a plan. Is that spin, or can they actually, can the White House counsel now go and find some documentation and then essentially, it, if there is documentation, that would be a confirmation by the White House that the Obama administration Justice Department went to court and made the case that there was enough probable cause to have a wiretap. Um, well, it's funny you ask that question because we actually reported yesterday that a senior White House official uh, said that Don McGahn, who's the White House counsel, was going to try and find the FISA order. Well, there was enormous blowback to that. Uh, and then hours later, a second White House official said, well, no, we're going to try to figure out what is going on here, but we're not going to have McGahn go and search for some FISA warrant. Now, why is that? Well, because... The White House counsel can't go to DOJ and demand right. a FISA warrant. That's not how it works, and that, that, that would be breaking uh, enormous precedent in terms of the, the, the uh, separation of powers. Um, so that is uh, the ongoing question is, are the White House aides basically trying to clean up slash make Trump feel good uh, by pretending like they're going to get to the bottom of this when actually they're just trying to figure out how to pretend like they are for his sake, or are they actually doing some kind of a, an internal investigation to actually figure out what happened last year in this investigation? A lot, a lot of conflicting information, uncertain information, because again, the president, the president went to Florida. Most of his senior staff stayed behind. Uh, we know that on Friday before he left, uh, there were a number of very tense conversations, including, I'm told, the president of the United States himself venting. Where are all these leaks coming from? Yes. 